What is up guys, Gary Oak here, starting a brand new Let's Play for you. A little game called System Shock 2. Old as balls, um, but also really awesome game. A uh, foundation for most modern games. Gonna play it on normal. I've played it on hard and impossible. The game is a bitch. Look at you, hacker. I'm gonna stay quiet for a second so you guys can watch this intro. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Alrighty, I guess we can start playing now. Um, so for those Welcome who... to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. This place is a goddamn mess. Look at all this coffee and cigarettes and vomit and cum in that coffee. Disgusting. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is System Shock 2. Um, this is what led to the creation of Irrational Games, um, the team that originally made Fallout came from some of the people on here, basically Fallout, Deus Ex, and Bioshock were all inspired by this game. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. System Shock 2, like, laid the foundation for all of this, and it, none of it would have been possible without this game. And so, the era of, like, RPG shooters was thanks to System Shock. Before shot. you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Fuck you, robot. I'm gonna turn the volume down a second. This is going to just freeze up. Audio, master volume, down ever so slightly. Oh, yeah, that's maxed out. Okay, let's go to here. Okay. Alright, maybe that's a bit better for you guys to, to hear. Pick up some. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. 
Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Oh, thank you. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. I think I've got Follow it. the red path along the ground to the next training station. It's not difficult. I do like the fact to we're playing in Trons. Center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left clicking and dragging them around. To drop an item, drag it from your inventory into the 3D view and release the mouse button. To oh. use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. If you can still see your inventory display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. I know how to fucking play this game, just stop with this bullshit. I will say though, this game's pretty beautiful, holding up the test of time. Maybe not so much in the character models, but the design of the environment is just gorgeous. Um, I really like this Tron vibe in, of the a futuristic training center. Is a med hypo. Pick it Fuck up, and me. Then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. See the crate in front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, one of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. This message Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA. God, so much noise. So loud. Oh, God. Free me. Oh. You've done well. Remember. If you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. All those voices. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you. Alright, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. Good to have you on board. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner. Fuck you, robot. Once you've loaded the fire. I won't let Terminator happen. By pressing your left mouse. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. Yeah, should that robot who's boss. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Now I can shoot stuff. the other training areas first before you enlist. Technical. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical wow. skills you'll need. Wow, you sound name. like a nerd. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the Cyberlink booth, we'll provide you... The object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left click on the tab. Okay, so I have no idea how this minigame works. And any bonuses that apply. 
Um, on the start button to begin Cause like it's You'll just, you do notes. three of those in a row. Note, we'll either turn it bright or dark. But the further you get in the just game, the more you realize, you god damn it. Three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you you can use nanites to buy items from replicators. Hi there. To use a replicator, Please make your right selection. Welcome to the circus of value. The item you purchased will drive to the smart place. Make sure I pick up your purchases before you leave. All right, so that's kind of hacking. Um, there are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. I forget. Cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. I forgot how much talking there is in this fucking game in the intro. Like, not even relevant. I get it's the tutorial and it's pretty Inside, complex, but oh my god. With your mind. Damn it. Do not let fear... We've provided you with a... The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many side points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your psi points. Try using a psi hypo and watch your psi points increase. This psi amp amplifies your psi powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the psi amp activates your currently selected psi discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psi Disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psi Disciplines from higher tiers. Use Cryokinesis to destroy the robot and Kinetic Redirection to pull that Nanite container towards you. Be careful. Holding down the mouse button can augment the power but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of side points, use another side hypo. Yay, I did it. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. Cool. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. So I honestly do think this is where I'm going to call it episode, guys. Um, I know that seems a little cheap, because it's a bit of a short episode, and you just saw the basics of the game, um, and basic gameplay, but trust me, after this, the game just takes off. Uh, what I'm going to do is leave it up to you guys as a vote in the comment section. Um, for one of three schools, I can either do uh, OSA, which is going to be psionics, Navy, which is hacking, or Marines, which is guns. And that's going to affect my gameplay for the rest of the game. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to be special, like I'll be screwed and couldn't go into the other two schools. But it'll give me a clear, dis clear advantage disadvantage. Marines are guns, Navy is hacking, and then OSA is psionic powers. Um, my personal preference is usually Marines or uh, Navy. I don't like the psionic powers on this, but if you guys want to see me do a psionic build, that's cool. You want to see a gun, you want to see a hacker, that's cool as well. Um, just vote down in the comments. But as for now, I do believe that's going to be video. Remember to rate, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys.